Hey guys, how are you doing? Do you remember this slide that we saw at the beginning of this course? Now we're gonna have to make reference to it several times in the next uh, three four videos as we create the migrations. And now the first thing is that there is a we need a users table that can be used for registration and social media login. As you can see, we've achieved these two so far. Now the next thing is there should be multiple user levels. There are many ways to accomplish this in Laravel, but I'll take the simplest and most effective way to do that, which is basically create, we're gonna create a, a second table that we'll call roles table. You understand what I'm saying? So we're gonna call it roles table. So that roles table will keep track of the roles a user belongs to. All right, so we'll get back, that's what we're gonna accomplish in this video. We'll create the roles table migrations and then in, in further videos, we'll create the migrations for all these other ones. That brings us back to our, our code. So if you can look at this uh, files, you see that there is a database and then uh, there are migrations here. So we're going to have to create another migration for roles table. Now, don't worry if this is a little confusing. You will start, it will start making sense as we, um, as we go through more and more videos. So to create a migration, you in Laravel, Remember, I'm getting all this from Laravel documentation if you want to study about migration, which you should do, matter of fact, if this is the first time you're uh, coding Laravel. So look at, go to Laravel, search for migrations, and um, you'll see the, the table. Or you just scroll down to the database, click on migrations. You just read through everything here uh, so that you can understand what we're doing. So first of all, we need to PHP artisan make colon migration i already have it offhand that's why i'm able to type it out uh, migration so create roles table hit enter uh, keep your eye here it's gonna create a new file for us uh, right here see new file created so we can now go in this file we just wanted to keep track of our roles and again, don't worry if you don't understand. Uh, now, further videos will explain it better. So we have a um, create roles and the name of the name of the role. We're gonna call it string. It's going to be of type string and be the name of the role. And that's it. Uh, this works. And then uh, the next thing we're gonna do is to um, go to the users table. And make sure that this user step, every user that is signing up, that will have a role automatically added to them. You understand? Because we're going to have different roles. Role number one might be um, admin. For instance, we can have admin, the overall admin, we can have moderator, um, we can have audit then. You understand uh, if somebody is an uh, audit firm then we can have a uh, voter you understand and in your own case you can have nomin is it nominant or nominant or whatever whatever you will call the people that are eligible to nominate others in my own case i want voters to be able to uh, nominate others too you understand but in your own case it might be different so uh, this role still will keep track of no matter how many number of different user roles we want So but the thing is that when we come to the user table, this is the user's migration look at it When we come to the user table want each user will belong to at least uh, Will belong to exactly one of these roles. So we have to uh, create it and say uh, table integer Role ID so um, Role ID this is it so each user that is being created must belong to a role so we're, now we're gonna create a default assuming when we are signing up a user we didn't uh, specify a role for the user the user should be I think um, moderator audit firm the user should be a voter by default that's role uh, Role number three, so we're going to do uh, three, four. This is row one, row two, row ID one, row ID two, row ID three, row ID four. 
we've not created this because we need to run the migration then go to a database and insert all this things inside the role stable but we already know that uh, the role that will be the normal user will be four so when a user is being signed up and um, the role is not specified it should be four okay so we're good the next thing we want to do is to make sure that um, when a user is signing up we enter a role for the person uh, we can do that or we can just already leave it I think we should just leave it at four for now so I just wanted to let you know that uh, you can also do that in app control um, HTTP controllers or in login controller remember that here we're signing up the user we can also like uh, create a role ID depending on what your scenario is but in my scenario if I set it to to um, if I set it to default everybody takes four as a start okay all right then the next thing we're gonna do in the next video is to start looking at the migrations like uh, the nominees table